uh, we're gonna make shawarma, chicken shawarma. Uh, so we're gonna make a yogurt sauce to go with our shawarma. So we're gonna start with chicken thighs. Do you use chicken thighs a lot? No, but I recently started. So chicken thighs are delicious because chicken thighs are, number one, they're cheaper in cost than chicken breasts and they've got that fat, so there's really good flavor. I'm gonna start cooking that, so I'll hopefully just burn myself and not you. Are you pretty good with a knife? Yeah. I like that. So if I was gonna, so if I said dice an onion, you'd, you'd know exactly what to do. Really? Golly, it's great. I don't have to teach anything. There you go. So we're gonna be dice it. Okay, so we're gonna throw some olive oil in a pan here. So I'm gonna get hot here. So we're gonna use avocado oil. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and heat this up. So again, the bacon fat burns quickly, but if I add avocado oil, it's gonna kind of help everything go to a high temp. Look at you, you're just, you're just doing it. So we've diced the onions, so that's perfect. So you're gonna taste this whole thing. You're gonna season. Do you like cilantro? Oh yeah. Okay, so we'll add cilantro, lemon juice, salt, and then the red onion. As much or as little red onion as you want. You can throw everything in here. I got you a, uh, a little whipper. I got you the whisk. So all you need to do is throw that in. So the shawarma, chicken shawarma is typically done on those spits where they rotate it and they cut it off. I don't have one of those and I'm using chicken thighs. I may or may not have ever done this before. Most likely may have never done this before. So we've got the bacon fat, a little bit of avocado oil. I'm using our chili cilantro dip. Do you guys like cilantro? A lot of people, if you're a super taster, you ever heard that term super taster? So if you're a super taster, typically you'll have, you taste a lot more of stuff. So cilantro tends to taste soapy to you. So if you have soapy, taste when you eat cilantro, you may be a super taster. All right, so chicken thighs are cooking up. Our dip is done. All right, do you want to cook? Come on back. Do you use chicken thighs? Yeah. What's your name? Selby. Selby. Scott Lynn. Lynn Scott Selby. Bam, hey, got it. <laughs> Friends for life. All right, so typically if you throw chicken thighs on a grill, they're really good. There's a lot more fat, so you'll be able to really kind of get some of that good flavor. They don't seize up and get as dry as chicken breasts do. Mm -hmm and they're a lot cheaper. So for your money, if you want to throw something on the grill, these are a great option to go with. We only want to flip once. Okay, so we're gonna let these go for a second. This is done. All right, so we're gonna do, did you try this? No. So that's the caramel. So that's the sauce we made. Again, apple cider vinegar, sugar, a little bit of salt, and then this sauce, so the chili cilantro. So you could serve that on fish. Good. It's good, right? It's not bad. Whew. So I want you to cut these with the tongs. But if you weren't gonna cut these with the tongs, you'd use the cat's paw. He's practicing the cat's paw. Please don't cut yourself. All right, so we're gonna start throwing them in these cups here, guys, and you guys can pick whatever sauce you want. So there's the caramel sauce. I recommend at least having one of them because they're both really good. It just kind of complements the, uh, the overall. The caramel sauce, again, is really, really sweet. It's got a little bit of salt in there to counterbalance, and again, it's got the acids. So you get that really nice vinegar flavor to it. Very yummy. He likes it a lot.